Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok especially, everyone. Right now, today, what we're going to do is I'm going to walk y'all through the steps of carpet cleaning. Uh, the first step of carpet cleaning, we always come in and we look around and we identify the stains. We always ask the customers, hey, do you know what this is? Because by identifying it, we know exactly what we need to go get on the truck to treat it. Um, I tell a lot of customers, I don't, I don't always uh, say, you know, that, that I'm 100% I'm sure that it will come out, but I'm sure that it'll get lightened up. But the customer let me know that she did not try to treat that stain. So when you don't try to treat a stain, most likely we can get it all the way up. All right, so the first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna vacuum because a great vacuum, even though a lot of customers say, hey, I already vacuumed. Um, the price that you pay me, the vacuum is already in included. And plus this is a professional vacuum. So a lot of customers say, hey, um, I vacuum and then I go behind them and I get a whole full canister. So right now we're gonna vacuum first. Then we're gonna do the pre-treatment. Then we're going to treat this stain. And then we're gonna do the uh, agitation with our CRV machine. And then we're gonna rinse it. And that's it, so stay tuned. All right guys, now you see this, this clear? Like we can actually take it off. But look what, I, even after the custom, customer vacuum before I came, look what I pulled out. So this is the reason why we always vacuum. Here goes some more. And get Cause this, Cause this vacuum is way better than the vacuum that you buy out of the store. Look at it, you can tell with the vacuum lines. You can tell that it's been vacuumed real good. And I, I don't know, I'm, I'm glad I did vacuum cause now I see another spot too. I can see actually where they spilt it at. So, um, we did a vacuum process. Now we're finna go and vacuum the rest of the house and rooms and stuff like that. And then get ready for the pre, uh, the pre treatment where I come in and I spray my uh, pre treatment down. And then we're going to target this stain. All right, now step two, this is the pre treatment process. So basically what we're doing is we're going to be spraying and pre-treatment. This is the stuff that, that uh, loosify all the, uh, emulsify all the dirt and get it loosened up so it'll be easy to get up. Um, I always start from the end and work my way on out so you don't have to step over anything. So come with me. Basically we just do a, a real light spray. You don't have to do nothing heavy. Only time we spray heavy uh, is when the carpet is real dirty. When the carpet ain't real dirty, just do a light little mist spray. And as you can see, uh, the customer didn't wait till the carpet got real dirty. It's, it's cheaper that way. You know, the more solution we use, the more we might have to charge. Y'all remember that spot? Huh? Now it's, it's, it's light, it's lighting up and I haven't even treated it all the way. You still see it, but it ain't as heavy as it was. So that's the reason why I always tell customers, when you do get a spill, please do not try to clean it up. Just go ahead and say, hey, you know what? Um, I just spilled something on my carpet. I don't want, I, you know, I might not get you to come out this week, but I'm gonna need you to come out next week or so uh, and come get it. Remember that stain I showed y'all. There go one right there, snug them right there. So it's just a little two thing process. It really don't matter which one you spray first. I know people gonna say, hey, which one you spray first? It really don't matter. Spray a little bit in the affected areas. Uh, and make sure, just in case if I missed anything. Boom, and then when you get done with that. Now this right here is, is specifically for like reds, blues, and greens. But like if you have anything, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, coffee, you spilt, you're gonna use this one, or you can use both of them. If you spill something that's real powerful. And again, we have a brown stain right here. If you see it, and most likely a brown stain would be Coca-Cola or food or anything like that, and that's what you want to use in this. And All right, y'all. Remember I told you about this, uh, the process. This is the third step after you get done uh, treating the carpet. This is our, what we use for agitation. It's called a Brush Pro 10. Now, uh, since I'm a small business, uh, I'm not real big like the rest of them guys, um, they, they don't use these because they don't have like a contract with them. But uh, I, I, I do use this, um, it's very effective. Um, what I use it for is I, I use it to work the solution that I spray on your carpet to work it all the way to the bottom of the pile. Also, everything that's like when you have matted down carpet, this machine, it got counter, it, the, the, the brushes spin counter rotated wise, uh, not with each other and they, and they spin this way and it, it gets 
uh, everything from the bottom of the pile and then it spits it out. So if you see anything that spits out and it kind of look a little nasty, like, ugh, um, it's really like dog hair, human hair, uh, any um, particles from wearing shoes and uh, on your carpet. And then when you walk on your carpet, whatever that's on the bottom of your feet or whatever, it gets matted down into the fibers of the carpet. So this is right here is everything that a vacuum can't, that's not powerful enough to get up, it gets it up. So this real light and easy. I know a lot of a lot of my customers, they'll sit and watch me when I do it and they'll be like, wow, the carpet looks clean already. Uh, it's, so you cleaning it now? I'm like, no ma'am, I gotta still come and rinse it and, and dry it, you know? Now what I love about this machine is right here, always get matted down. Now y'all watch, y'all watch this part right here. What I like to do is I like to come one way and as you see, it, it picked that carpet up, the carpet pile, and then I always come this way too. Uh-oh. She got that carpet standing up and looking great. See, the proof is in the pudding. And as you see it, you see it? <laughs> All right, guys, back up and running. It's right here. Is the rinse and dry process. Right here is what we call a dry stroke. Let's go ahead and I like to use this one right here for a lot of residential to get it on in between the cracks and crevices. But uh now if your carpet is a little bit more soil than this, sometimes I have to be on the on the, the trigger a little harder than others, but I really don't have to on this one. Four more spots. There's a brown spot right there. I think it was another one right next to it. Gone. Guarantee a little quicker dry time. Uh, these carpets should be dry in about three, three, four hours tops.